Oh hi, my name is Big Bill, and I'm going to teach you how to be fat. Now, people always ask me, oh, why do you want to be fat? I thought you wanted to be healthy. No, healthy is bad for your health. Look at this kid, all skinny, he has muscles, probably some abs up in there. No, you do not want any of that. You want a big old cushion like this. I'm going to teach you how right now. All right, as you can see, I've standed up for this first step. Don't expect me to ever do that again, because I have sat in that recliner for three years, all right? Don't ever expect the fat man to get out of his recliner. All right, and we're gonna teach you how to get into your recliner safely. Now first, you stand next to your recliner, here my kid will show you that, and make sure the pillow, if you have one, is right next where you're around where your butt should be. It'll make a really comfortable padding and you won't want to get up for a long time. Now, we will just bend our knees and sit. Let's try that again. All right. Now, remember, all you have to do is bend your knees, all right? No athletics, no nothing. Just bend your knees. All right. Here's, here we'll go again. And bend. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh. This is why I don't like you, okay? Just be fat. Just be. I'll help you this time. Alright, guys. Sorry, my kid's being a distraction today. Now just sit down with your knees. And, and there you go. No, no, it's okay. See, look at that. This kid, this is his first time ever sitting in a reclining chair. How do you feel? You feel fat yet? Uh, He's getting there. All right. Now, next we're going to put our arms onto our armrests. Now, I'm doing it right now, and this is very comfortable and very fattening. You guys will love it. All right. Now, we're going to put our, have our arms up like this. Just put them down. Okay. Push-ups are not required. Get, get, get. All right. You need to be motivated to be fat. All right, kid? You have to be fat to be accepted in today's society. All right, let's get back into our recliner. There you go, he's mastered this. All right, now, put in your, get your feet down, boy. Now put, now get your arms, put them down onto your armrest. There we go. See that? Okay, that? It's okay. It's okay, sir. All right. Now that your arms are firmly on your armrest, you're gonna have to pick one of them up and reach down for your reclining lever, your reclining lever. Now, we will pull, pull, we'll pull it right here and, oh, that's the wrong recliner, okay? Oh my goodness, I don't want to get up right now, there you go. All right, now we're just gonna recline, pull the lever, all right, okay, get up. You're gonna make me have to stand up. You know how much I don't like standing up. This kid. All right. Now that you're, come on, pull up your recliner. All right. Now that your arms are on your armrests and your feet are out, and your recliner's up. You're ready for the next step. All right. Now that you have your recliner safely reclined and you are in it, then we're gonna watch some good old-fashioned TV. First, you have to turn it on. This is essential because if you don't turn it on, it'll be just be a blank screen and you'll probably get bored and go out and play some sports or something which is not encouraged by this program. Now that the TV is on, choose your preferred channel. Now, most channels are good, but avoid ones that especially have sports, especially like football or rugby or baseball in them or soccer. Because these will encourage you to be just like those guys and you want to be fat, not athletic like the bad role models that they are. Now, anything with dancing also is completely not accepted by this program because that will also make you very, very fit, which is not okay. Now, a good choice, I would say, one of my favorites, is the cooking channels because they will encourage you to eat more, and that's fantastic. Eating gives you so many more calories, and it will just make your life so much better. All right.
now that you have it on your preferred choice of channel, now watch it for around 12 to 14 hours. Don't worry about anything else, your job, your family, no, 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 no. You don't need none of them. Just watch TV. All right, now that I have watched 14 hours of television, I feel a little sleepy, and you probably would be too. Now, what I suggest for this is to go to sleep. Now, going to your bed and walking all the way to your room can burn a high amount of calories, which is not what we want. So what you want to do is go and call a family member, a pet, a robot, and to go and get a blanket for you. Carl, you skinny lard! Go get me a blanket! Gosh, that kid's so freaking fast. He needs to be slower. Ah. Oh. All right. Now that you have your blanket, spread it out across your whole body. You don't get one in my blanket. Now that you have it over your whole body, like so, make sure your arms are in, or climb back, and go to sleep. Oh man, what time is it? Feels like it's been a while. Oh, no, only 10.30. We need to go for at least five more hours. Alright, stop it. Oh! Oh, what time is it now? Oh yes, it's 6.30 p.m. That's exactly what you want. Sleeping in is the best. Good, my nephew here has woken up. Now, now that you've finished sleeping, you're almost done with your workout. But you're probably feeling very tired from these different types of um, workouts that we've been doing today. So I would suggest getting some nice, good old fast food. Now, make sure that it's especially greasy or covered in sugar or something to that extent. You, it needs to have at least a little bit of high fructose corn syrup. No green things unless it's artificially colored green. Um, fruits and vegetables are the worst. Um, yeah, anything that those health nutritionists are telling you to eat, don't take those because they'll probably make you healthy. And healthy, like I told you before, is not a good thing. Now, um, now that you've finished your workout by eating, which I hope you did during while you paused this video and you went and go ate something extremely um, bad for your health, like a burger or something, or bacon, bacon's a good one, or nacho cheese, that just drink that stuff, that's what I do. Or you could have just gotten yourself a nice soda, that's great. But at, after you've done that, um, you're ready to watch this video over again and do it all over. Now, but now that our um, part is done, take a word from our value cost valued customers. Alright. Wow, I have only been doing my uncle's training for one day and I already feel fat. <sighs> Holy burrito, I've been eating so much for three months. Oh, I just got back from Thanksgiving dinner. I feel like a new Carl. Man, I've just been like, taking his training to heart, eating as much as I can, sitting around, watching TV, and I don't know man, I just feel so much fatter already. Like, I feel like I've gained at least 50 pounds in the past two months. Like, that's a new record for me. I feel like, a completely different dude. Hey guys, my name's Satan. I'm Colin. And we're the makers of Golden Raspberry. I really hope you guys liked that last fat workout video. And um, please hit that sub subscribe and like button. It'd be great. And tell us in the comments what our next video should be. Thanks and bye.